Hey guys, what is up and welcome to round number three, the PP PPG Presents Dragon Ball Regionals here in beautiful Richmond, Virginia. We have two amazing players here. We have Christian Townsend on the left playing Zeno Maidens. Guys, such a cool deck. On the right, we have Matt Sublet playing SS3 Goku. What we're going to do now, we're going to go to our life cam here, which is our new fancy little thing here to check out these players' life, see what's in the life, see how we think it's going to happen. We have Matt's life. It does have a Piccolo in it, which is important, uh, but it looks like he's playing blue-red. Uh, SS3 Goku, a very cool deck, uh, a very mid-range type deck, probably the best mid-range deck in the format. Has uh, Some of the species has two Chantax Trunks in life, which can be devastating. The deck usually only runs about three, so having two in that can really hurt him, uh, which is honestly his answer against this, this Barrier Maiden kind of um, deck. You know, it's going to be Mafubas and these Chantax, and if he doesn't run four, it can be devastating. Now, on Christian's side, we see some pretty interesting cards here. We see uh, the new Chompa card, along with um, some pieces of his uh, Maiden's package, but it should be okay. So we're going to flip it over here. Make sure you guys come up and check out our sediments. Of course, check out our vending booth. They are buying and selling all cards all day. All right, guys, switch back over to the gameplay here real quick and everything's set up. All right, we have our SS3 player at five life. And our Zeno Maiden's hero at seven. Setting pretty at seven. Matt's going to play one energy. Actually going in pretty hard here. Attacking for 25k critical here pretty fast. Looks like he must be digging for something. Or want to put early pressure on Zeno. Pop-up chat. <laughs> All right, Matt is going to four life and going to awaken, drawing his two cards and see what he gets. What he's looking for here and what he really needs is his Chantax Zeno combo. That's going to be his best combo pieces against uh, this SS3 deck. What I want to do, guys, is I want to pop up the new, ch the new uh, Chompa card for you guys as well, so you guys can take a look at what this card does. It's actually a pretty cool card, pretty interesting card uh, to talk about here. Christian going to go to five life. Should be getting pretty caught up here, guys. Like I guess I guys, I am running the stream by myself today. And here's this two, this new Chompa card. Very, very cool card. I'm going to pop it up for you. It says, auto when you play this card, if your leader card is a god or universe six, choose up to two of your opponent's battle cards with 9,000 power or less and KO them. Pretty cool card against these free blockers that we see. Just a really neat card. And a card that uh, works pretty well with Zeno. Guys, remember, if you guys have any questions at all, let us know at Pro Play Games Live in the chat. And I'll do my best to get to your question as soon as possible. Christian at four life to four, all tied up, playing his third energy down, being the 05 drop Ribrian. In his hand, he has quite a few god cards in hand. And hasn't really been able to get this maiden engine started yet. Though... His next card in life, though, appears to be Ribrian if he takes them the same direction he's been taking them since he started here, which might be enough to get him started. Here, Christian's paying two. Probably going to be the... Ooh, going to be the Chompa. And guys, we did talk about this card a little bit. Matt has to take a look at it. Again, guys, this is a 10,000 attacker. It says, when you play this card, if your leader card is a god or universe six, choose up to two of your opponent's battle cards with 9,000 power or less and KO them. And Christian's just going to use that to get that Trunks out of here. Matt playing down to his fourth energy as well. Going to pay four and play hit. This is going to allow him to look at Christian's hand, take two cards out of there. 
But Christian's hand not looking too good. Looking a little lackluster here, not having any maidens. It's like he's going to choose the Helia. I believe her name is Helia. Though I am very bad at pronouncing all of these names. I'll pop it up for you guys here. Take a look at what Helia does. Helia is a super combo for the god decks. Very cool card. A card that we actually seen Zamasu take advantage of last game as well. It's Helios. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. Again, very bad at these guys' names. I have no illusions that I am <laughs> good at reading these people's names. And let's say Christian's going to use two cards to combo through that. I like that. I want to be careful when you're getting critical. And actually, if you would have got critical there, guys, we're going to switch over to the to the life cam to see why that play was pretty important. Um, Christian not taking that critical allowed him to just, he actually, he just drew it as we were transitioning over, but he drew his maiden that was in his hand right there, his, uh, his brand. Uh, we, again, three to four, he has the Gohan, which he's going to take right now. And so has access to the Vegeta and Zarbon or whatever that guy's name is. going to take the Vegeta too. I don't know what's happening in this game. Oh my gosh, let me get back here, guys, as fast as possible. He just took three hits consecutively. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Hi. is down to one life. To the double strike from the foreseeing hit into the single strike from Goku. Going down to one life here. Interesting choice by Christian. So Christian paying three right now. Now, what this card does is it actually reduces the cost of all the Maidens in his deck, uh, which is pretty cool. It also allows him to look at... Right now, he's playing he's playing Brienne de Chateau. Going to look and get another Brienne de Chateau. So let's look at, I think, believe the top seven. Put a Maiden in your hands. Either top seven or top ten. I'm going to check that for you guys real quick. It's been a little while since I played, though, if you guys... Or any familiar with my stream, you know that I, I played a lot of Maidens when it first came out. And it was a heck of a deck to try to win games with at that time. That was back when Mecha Frieza was a, the best deck. Uh, it's a, it is the top seven. Gets to play out these... <laughs> these brandy chateaus for free, guys. Just keep searching through his deck, plant these brands for low cost here. Super cool to see this happen. The reason why he gets to do this too, guys. We'll go ahead and I'll talk a little bit about it while he's searching through his deck. Sorry, guys. I'm a little far, I'm a little, a little bit behind here, guys. I'm trying to do all the overlays and everything by myself here. All right, guys, so on the Zeno leader here, on his awakened side, so on his front side, he has, you can't include cards in your deck that don't have universe as part of their special trait. Treat cards of universe as part of their special traits in all areas as if they had no specified cost. Auto, when this card attacks a leader card, place up two cards on top of your deck in your drop area and draw one card. When your life is up four or less, you may choose up to two of your energy, switch into active mode, flip this card over, permanent, treat cards in universe, as part of the special trade in all areas that they had no specified costs. And then active main once per turn, choose 10 cards in drop area, send them to your warp. Your opponent chooses two cards in their hand and places them in drop area. Really cool effect with the Zeno leader. Super cool. And a very under underutilized leader. Christian on the defensive. That was able to play one, two, three, four, five cards on his turn. Just insane amount of cards. Still has three open energy as well. Going to pay for all three of that as energy. 
to play out. <laughs> Christian playing so many cards on this turn. Two free blockers. Three Brianns. <laughs> just plays his entire hand out. Insane. Attack with Rubrian. Attacking 10k, the 15k here. Matt taking some time to think about what he wants to do here. I don't blame him. Though it is important to remember that the two maidens in play right now don't get their their buffs because Rib Brienne is not Brienne. Or Brienne is not Rib Brienne. She does have to be evolved or before she can uh her maidens get their effects. He's gonna go twenty K here. He does have th access to three blockers, though. You know, he doesn't seem he doesn't have a hand or energy available. Oh, he does have a hand. I guess it was off screen, so he has two cards in hand. So passing the turn, with two cards in hand, three blockers, no energy untapped. It is one life to four. Matt playing out another first thing hit, which actually is going to take away Christian's hand completely. Matt going to block the leader attack with one of his free blockers here. Taking blocking again, and here comes the next hit, which he can still block. He has to use a maiden to block here, but he can. He's actually going to use... Oh, there's Matt Saiyan coming down. And that's it. Oh, man. Christian having such an explosive second turn, but just not able to survive that turn. And I know, guys, it might look like, you know, Chris played too many cards that turn, but all those cards were still able to get, uh, like, get effects. Like, those cards being in his hand or being in the, in the play in the field didn't really matter. Like, it didn't stop what he was trying to do. I think the one thing that Chris maybe did a little too much was I don't think he needed to attack with anything. I think he could have left everything out and just used it as combo pieces to maybe survive. It's a shame. But just the hit into hit into Overwhelm Double Striker is really what won Matt that game. I mean, Matt had to have a specific sequence of cards, I think, to put himself in that position, and he did get those. He got that sequence. And I think that's what's really important uh, to look at here. Insane. Insane deck, though. Really, really cool, guys. Really cool deck. Really fun to watch. Just really, really neat. Fix this match score here. You guys, if you have any questions, all let me know at Pro Play Games Live, and I'll do my best to answer questions as soon as possible. Alright, as the players are getting their sideboard prepared, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the cards we played, pop them up here for you guys. Let's see if I can find this card for you guys to talk a little bit about it and kind of why it works. 
I think it's like uh, I gotta find him. I'm not sure his name. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm pretty sure it starts with a J, but I don't know. See if I can find him here. Yeah, here he is. It's Jamiz. Jamiz. Like I said, I'm terrible at these card names, so I apologize. All right, we're going to pop this guy up for you guys real quick, talk a little bit about him. It's a big player on Christian's deck, obviously. I want to kind of explain why here a little bit. So this card has permanent reduced energy cost of Maiden Squadron in your hand by two. You must pay the specified cost even if it exceeds the reduced energy cost. So this card is saying, okay, reduce the cost of the card, the maiden card in your hand by two, but you still have to pay their specified cost. So if, for example, Brienne de Chateau, you know, she only, she costs two, so this would make it free, but you still have to pay that one green. However, with the Zen, the Zeno leader, uh, you can ignore the specified cost. Essentially, all these cards don't have specified cost, and so this card with Zeno just says, "Cool, you can play you know anything that costs two or less for free," uh, which is why he can play those cards out uh, because it takes away uh, that specified cost uh, requirement. The next part says active main, place one card from your hand in the drop area, send this card to the warp and play it from your warp. It's just a way to protect it. Uh, it's really cool. It's not something that's going to be used at all in this matchup. You know, actually, I'm not going to say it's never going to be used, but it's probably unlikely that it'll be used. Uh, again, it's just that that Maiden Squadron reducing it from two to zero is what you're looking for. That's what makes this deck work. That's the engine that makes this deck uh, tick. Guys, if you haven't already, please go pre-register for Atlanta, Georgia, which will be the next regional event that we do at the end of the month. It's going to be an awesome regional. What's really cool about it is Bandai will be attending there. They let us know they'll be there, so that's really cool. So please come by. Check us out. We'd love to see you there. All right, guys. The players have got their their life set up so we're going to flip on over to life cam talk a little bit about their life and yet again christian kind of getting an unlucky draw on his life he hits again two briandy chateaus now what's good uh, about that is that one of them are on the bottom row which he normally gets now he does get a blue and a black off his life here which uh matt which is unfortunate one of those being zeno now this deck usually only runs three zeno so having one of your zeno in life is unfortunate uh, but it's much better than obviously having two. He does still have two Chantac Trunks in his life as well with an Unbreakable Vegito, um, the One Drop Trunks, and a Mafuba. Life, but I think, would look equal. I, I don't think any uh, player is you know, in a bad position off their life. I think what really hurt Matt, though, was getting that black energy into his, his energy, uh, that black card into his energy, uh, which is unfortunate, but it does happen. All right, Christian attacking with the Zeno leader. Now remember, guys, Christian's life not looking too hot. Remember, has two Brienne in his life and two teleporting Jamiz are essentially his engine. So, you know, his, his two best car, early game cards are both in his life. All right, and he takes the first one, creating his, his blocker. So if we look at his life really quick, if we look at his life, his next card is his teleporting Jamiz. The way he's taking his life, the next card will be that card. So if he gets that critted, that can be devastating for his, his play. Let's see what he decides to do. I can't quite see his hand, though. Attacking again with Zeno. 10,000 to 15k. Gonna draw a card. Draws a super combo. Not bad. It 
is seven to four right now, though. Matt getting <laughs> getting the Gohan in play. Plays out another Zarbon. Gets a look at the top three cards. It's unfortunately going to whiff, I believe. Actually, I think he can get the super combo. He can get the super combo himself because I actually that card is get a universe, whatever universe they are. I think I don't think it has to be a maiden. Yeah, Zerberto, Actually, it's uh, it's universe. It can be universe two. So he actually, I think he could have taken even the super combo if he wanted. Oh, okay. So he does. Okay, so Christian does have a Jamiz in hand, which is important. I mean, he needs at least one, two. I think is what he would ideally want to have. Okay, passing Christian passing to Matt here. Yeah, some of, some of the searchers only grab maidens. Um, the two drop uh, Ribran or Brandy Chateau only grabs maidens, but Zerberto actually grabs um, any universe too. So his next life. Is that Jamiz though that he's looking for? So if he can, if he gets hit here, he takes a life. It'll be Jamiz. So we'll see what he decides to do here. He does have a lot of combo power on field, so I think taking this hit's probably okay. Oh, actually, Matt was just attacking into Jamiz. Nice, good play by Matt. And it's like he's gonna attack into the other one here, clearing his board. I actually like this, Matt, playing a little slower here. Playing out Gohan here, saving that crit for that attack on a crit and a Zeno. See if Christian actually stops this. I don't think he has a way to do it, and he's going to take it, and it is his teleporting gem. is unfortunate, but a very good play by Matt. So he could sing his attacks perfectly. Matt did draw Chantag Zeno again. Not sure which one he... I'm not sure if he drew it or got it from life, actually. He had two in life, and he did get one from life, so. Let's see what Christian could do here. Going to tap three and play the one Jamizzi I guess he already has. Oh, no. Actually playing God of Destruction. Being able to kill that Gohan is huge. I love this card. It's attacking to the leader again. Draw another card. What does he draw? Can't see it. Hit it from us. It is a green card, but I can't see what exactly what it is. Getting that Gohan off the field is huge for Christian. It's just going to pass turn taps out. Looks like he might have drawn a Ribran, actually. Sidra being awesome card, yes. One of the best ultimate box cards. Just a terrific card. That tacky 15k and 10k. This is only target. Just gonna take it, go to four, guys. Sorry, I'm a little bit behind on the life, guys. Super into this game. This game is sick. Both these players playing their hearts out. This deck is, both these decks are really fun to watch. I apologize. So four to four. Christian does have another teleporting Jamiz in life, but it's very close to the end. Unless he starts on the other side and goes up, I'm afraid he's not going to be able to get the card until it's too late. Matt, though, playing Chain Attack Zeno, which is just so unfortunate. 
because he did have the Jamiz in hand, and that's just going to make him not have it now. He didn't draw back into it. Chris's hand is just not, this new hand just is looking so bad, guys. Matt attacking 15K and 10K. See if it forces this is awa this awaken from Christian. It's not. He's going to take a take two here. Goes to two life. Though, remember his next card, not too bad. Draws a card for turn. Can't see it. Does a little peek. Gets a maiden, but not the maiden he's looking for. Unfortunately, not getting Jamez. Does get hit, but I don't think hit's going to help him here. Christian taking some time, just trying to figure out how he wants to sequence his plays here. Playing four of the same card as energy. Christian showing off just a little bit here. Tapping out again, playing all four of his energy to play out a hit. Though, probably one of his best plays, though. I just don't like it. Well, Kefla is looking pretty good. Kefla and Gohan would be my pick. Unbreakable and Topo aren't too bad. I definitely don't want a Kefla coming down next turn. That's probably game. Gohan doesn't seem much better either. If he actually gets hit by Gohan, holy moly. The Gohan would actually crit away the the uh, the last Jamez in his, in his life. Which is probably the only hope of him getting back into this game. So to me, Kefla, Gohan's probably going to be his best bet here. Though remember, he does get Awaken and Ready to Energy. So he will have two energy... Um, to defend with. That's something I kind of I, I forgot originally. So I think this this hit play was actually the right play. Maybe he's not too worried about the Gohan. He can just Maybe he wants to take Topo Kefla. That way he can draw a card with Zeno if he needs to. And still pr pressure with Topo. I mean pressure with a uh, hit. Not to worry about Topo. Yeah, maybe Topo Kefla is right. You can go Topo Topo Kefla. Looks like we might. Yeah, I agree, guys. I think I think the Roshi is going to cover the Gohan play, but still, just having your opponent draw two off of that. Yeah, okay, I like that play. That was my original. That was my original thought, and I like that play a lot. This stops your opponent from drawing a lot of cards next turn. I mean, Topo is going to be annoying, and Mafuba is annoying. Wake it ready to energy. But to Topo and Mafuba are cards you can play around. Matt and Asai, not the Topo here. Interesting. I think it's a... I think it's a... Just... Your opponent's at two life. I think that's a fine topo play. Matt's instead going to sensu being to protect the Zeno. I wouldn't imagine Christian attacks with the hit. I don't think he wants that Mafuba. Tekken's 20k. This is this is gonna get Mafubad. I'm sorry, not Mafuba, Topoed. 
Day one playing Zaberto. Look at the top three. Gets a universe. And kind of whiffs here. Gets a uh, Ribrian, but that's not going to do much for him. Not able. I guess he could hard cast the next turn, I guess. But not really what you want to be doing with your uh, five energy. Gets to play free blocker, free blocker. And pass turn. Not too bad of a turn by Christian, actually, but these lack of this Jamiz is just really hurting him. Attacking 15k into 15k, SS3 Goku into Zeno. Draws what appeared to be another Mafuba off of his leader attack. Okay, 15k into 15k. Zeno into Zeno. Something I didn't think I would say when I got here today. And he's just going to block that attack. Okay, he's going to counter with Master Roshi. I guess the, the problem Christian has right now, though, is that Matt's getting back these two cards from the hit he played last turn. I don't know if he has a way to deal with just Kefla. I think when Kefla comes down, it's just going to be game. I don't think he has a way to deal with it. He does draw a super combo. He's still going to be able to get a draw with Zeno. what he decides to do guys I'm gonna talk a little bit about Zeno's effect here guys so you guys will know what it's possible for him to do this turn Zeno's awakened side he has active main once per turn choose 10 cards drop area send them to your warp the opponent chooses two cards from their hand and places them in the drop area very powerful effect especially whenever you run this hand destruction type deck that Christian's trying to get there to but he just keeps getting screwed over by his life unfortunately So Christian has to find a way to either trick Matt into using cards that he doesn't need or and unfortunately he did have to use a card there but that's not the card that Christian was wanting to see. Christian Payne 4. For another blocker. Gives him access to two more blockers. And he's going to pass. Christian just trying to find a way to get back into this game, guys. And unfortunately, little does he know, really the way to get back into the game is setting in his life right now. Again, guys, I'm going to really quickly throw back over to the life cam, let you guys know what's in life here. And Christian has teleporting Jamiz in life and a Ribrian. Uh, the Brian Dan Chateau doesn't really matter too much at this point. Matt having Vegito, one drop trunks, unbreakable, and chain attack trunks in his life. Very powerful cards. All four of those cards. Very powerful in this matchup. Matt drawing a card off the leader attack. Going 15k into 15k. SS3 Goku with a Piccolo. Drawing another Piccolo off the Piccolo, actually. I don't expect him to, to combo both. But still pretty sick draw. Looks like Christian going to 20k there. And super comboing.
Yeah, if Christian can if Christian can find another hit, that would be a good search. If he can get another hit, it would be very powerful for him. Because it would allow him to hit, take two cards out, use Zeno ability to get two cards out. Gets a teleporting, gets it. And he also gets a counter, guys. Gets the counter Roshi and his teleporting Jamiz as well. Though I don't th I think it might be a little bit too late for that card with what's in his hand. It's still pretty cool. And Matt gets another hit. Gets a look at his hand. See what's inside. Almost assuredly gonna take away the the Roshi and Ribrian. But he's gonna take the just so unfortunate that Matt keeps getting these back-to-back -back hits at the right time. This card not necessarily going to be that important for Christian, but Christian able to block with his free blocker here. He still has another blocker as well with his maiden. So I don't think Matt's going to be able to crack this wall this turn, but unless Christian draws a heck of a card here, What does he draw? Would that be another blocker, actually? I think it's another four-drop maiden blocker. But I can't quite see. No, it's actually Vegeta. It has no relevance here. It does have... Christian just not having... Not having the card... The cards in hand. I don't think he, he definitely can't just pass. And playing this Vegeta right now. Let's get to untap energy with this Vegeta, though, I believe. Gonna untap one. See what he draws. Going to two energy here. Looks like he drew another free blocker, actually, off of the Vegeta. Not bad. Asking Matt how many cards are in his hand. I think Christian might need to pull the Zeno trigger here just to get two cards out of his hand. He needs to try to survive, kill as many of these cards as he can. It really sucks not seeing Christian's deck perform the way I think it was designed this game. First game was really sick. Matt playing out Gohan to protect. That's going to be three tackers to Christian's one blocker and two life. Attack with Zeno here. Keeps drawing these Ribrians with no maiden to play on top. Yeah, it's really tough for our Zeno, or Zeno hero here, guys, if we're being honest. Don't want to count anybody out yet. This is game two, guys. Matt taking game one. It's a shame because Christian's deck looks so cool. But these hits are just wrecking him. But he does have access to free blocker, so he can shut down two of these attacks. Free blocker coming out. Christian does get two more cards back in his hand, though, guys. Do remember that he does get two cards back in his hand. He gets the Roshi back, which is important. And he is going to get back um, his Jamiz, which is good for next turn. So... He has two blockers plus a Roshi. So he, he's not over. It's definitely not over. And then after that, his brand is free. So if he can survive this turn, it's possible he can actually start stripping Matt's hand. Yeah, Christian, Christian able to, to easily stop three blocker, three attacks here. What he wants to do, if possible, is take a hit that he can. Now, I don't know if Matt has Chompa in hand. That's the only card, if I'm Christian, I would be afraid of right now. And I don't think he can afford to play around Chompa right now. 
Playing around Trampa probably makes him lose the game. So I think he needs to take the hit. Get a Jamiz in hand. And he's not going to, guys. He's going to combo with the car that I think was going to actually save, like, help him save the game here. I just don't think he can play to the... Fa like, I mean, he, that play is obviously playing around Trampa, but I just... I just don't think you can play around Trampa. I think you have to take a hit. Plays the Roshi. Stop the Topo. Tex. Going to use the free blocker to stop that. Yeah, and guys, I mean, I, th I would take the hit too, but Matt, but Christian's, play Christian's playing around Trampa. And I think... The problem I have is that you know he has Kefla in hand. You know it's there. So 25K. You just can't afford to play around Champa. You have to take one of those hits from the lower, the lower power guys so you can use everything against Kefla. I mean, I guess taking the hit from Kefla is the same thing, but... He did get the Jamiz from life. Goes the one. Blocks the second attack. Okay. He actually survived, guys. But the, the problem is, though, he... I, I'm not sure if Christian has a way... He comboed with his... I can't believe he comboed with the Brian. That's actually really surprising to me that he comboed with the Brian. The Brian was extremely important. He does have a Gohan. Gohan? Being pretty good here. Christian just trying to get some of these attackers off board attacking Vegeta and the Topo here. See what Matt decides to do. Another Gohan. Ugh. Christian attacking with leader, 15k. Into Gohan, 15k. Draws a card. Christian now attacking 20k for seeing hits. It's going to combo Roshi to go to 25. Matt using his Piccolos to keep it alive. I um, unfortunately think this might be the end for our Zeno Maiden's hero, Christian, here. Making his opponent discard two cards here. Once again, Dragon Ball Super Player. Tapping three, That's playing still Gohan. Available. Everything is still in stock. We have not run out of any supplies for any of our side events. Make sure that you Attacking 15k into 15k, critical. Gets to draw two cards from this. Supplies. We do have some extra supplies. We don't want to go home with it. 
so we'll start juicing up those side events. So make sure you guys check back every so often as we get left with more and more supplies. We'll start increasing some payouts and increasing some okay. prizes. So Matt discarding to keep it. Plays three. This is going to be another Gohan. Attacking 15K into 15K. Draws two more cards. Just digging for something, but I don't think Christian's going to be able to draw anything that's going to get him out of this situation. Did draw another Brandy Chateau, but... It's not going to matter. I don't think Christian has any way with being tapped out to survive these attacks. Does have a super combo in hand, but just surviving this Kefla attack itself is going to be almost impossible. And there's another hit from Matt. These hits and the hits and the hits are just devastating. He's going to take the super combo. The four drop blocker. Interesting. It's going to be game. 25K. Draws this card. Plays Piccolo. Knows it's over. Jeez. Unfortunate, guys. I hate to see that because the deck was so cool. Zeno Maiden's being such a cool deck. Right. 